guys it oaks your brother from the u.s welcome to the channel and thank you for watching are you guys ready because i'm ready the lions are hungry we are going to san siro to get the job done three point is all we need if you're excited and you can't wait until tuesday please like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below just one click away and you are part of this channel thank you so much we are ready and we're going to cause some damage at san siro let's go Okay guys, just making sure that you understand that I am recording this video before the press conference on Monday. So anything can change. Maybe an injury or somebody coming back from an injury or something. So um, it could be totally different when you watch this video. But it's going to always make sense whatever or whenever you're going to watch this video. So yeah. Let me remind you a little bit what is happening in our group, group E, the group that always brings us luck. <laughs> People been speculating that we could win the Champions League. Who knows? It's up, up there for grab, man. You know, we are Chelsea and we've been through a lot. We're going to get better. Group E, Salzburg, actually. Uh, top of the group with five points. Goal difference, one. Chelsea are second, four points. Goal difference, two. Milan, third. Goal difference, minus one. Dinamo, Zagreb are bottom with three points, minus two goal difference. So if we beat Milan, which on paper the biggest uh, team in this group we have a chance to finish top and let's hope that uh, um dinamo can draw with uh, salzburg or win you know you never know and then we're gonna jump if we get three point we're gonna have seven point milan are gonna stay with four point and uh, we can just secure the last uh, couple games remaining and then win the group but that is not too important for me the most important is just to qualify for the next round i don't care if we qualify first or second bring it on we are chelsea football club i'm not afraid of any team my friend i don't know about you anyways let me throw some names out there for my lineup you know my starting 11 formation really nobody knows so it's just useless right now to talk about formation it could be three or four at the back depending on what the manager is gonna decide so going just to throw some names out there and remember that uh, we rested Pierre Emerick Aubameyang and also Raheem Sterling we kept them fresh so they can uh, play against milan also Rhys james remember even Rhys james played only few minutes tiago silva also played few minutes so they have to be there obamiang raheem sterling and el monstro himself if everybody is fit and not not uh, ill or something the last minute they have to be there koulibaly actually Remember the last game he started poorly, but he finished very uh, strongly. So I'm going to keep him there. Rhys James. <laughs> okay, what, what, what can I say? You know, the best of the best. And then Chilwell. I will play Chilwell because he offers more defensively and offensively. He's more balanced. 
than Kukureya. But you can make your case for Kukureya. But I think Chile is the guy that is going to do business for us. In the midfield, I can go with uh, Ruben Lofsuchik. At the moment, it's becoming even impossible to let him out. And he came off, I think, uh, 25 minutes to go. I think the manager knew that he needed a little bit of rest so he can start against Milan. This guy, man, getting better and better every single day. Ah, uh, Kovacic, of course. He played for AC Milan, remember? So he hit Milan. <laughs> so we're going to keep him there. You can make your case for Jorginho Frelo and all that. I'm not going to get to the debate. This is, this is my choice. You have also your choices that you can, you can just uh, leave your comment in the description down below. So Pulisic, really, I want to see him start. When was the last time this guy started a like couple games in a row? No, it's going to be 10 minutes here. He might play back to back to back, but only a few minutes here and there. So since he started the last game and he did good, scored a goal, missed a lot of chances, but everybody does. How many chances Raheem Sterling is missing? Tons of them. But we understand. Okay, he's going to get better. He's, gonna, he's getting to positions. That is the most important. But certain people like Pulisic or Manson Mount, when they miss one chance, um, that's the end of the world. That is a big crime. But we forget about certain people. We close our eyes on them. So I think the reason why Pulisic is missing a lot of chances is just because he's rotten on the bench. And when he's on the field, He's rushing everything up. He want to prove people wrong. And he always makes like the wrong decisions. But if he's confident and start building his momentum back, playing games regularly, you will see also the finishing is going to be on point. Mason Mount, I don't have to explain myself, but feel free to make whatever theory you want. Aubameyang, of course, Aubameyang. I don't care if Broja started, the, uh, he didn't start, scored the last time. I would like to see Aubameyang also play against his former club, AC Milan. Remember that he started over there, right? When uh, R9, Ronaldo, the big Ronaldo was there. Uh, Aubameyang was, uh, was as a young player uh, over there at Milan. So we have two ex-Milan players here with us, Aubameyang and also El Monstro Thiago Silva. All right, my people, um, <clears throat> this game is going to be interesting. San Siro is a very, very tough place to win a game of football. Milan have a lot of injuries, but don't write them off. Very good team. I think we're going to win, but it's going to be by a, a small margin. 2-1 Chelsea Football Club. Another audition for um, Rafael Leao. I think he's going to try everything to to score a goal, to send a message to Todd Bowley, come get me. 2-1 <laughs> Chelsea Football Club. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang to score. Christian Pulisic to score. <laughs> but I'm not too sure if he's going to even start, though. We might go three at the back and Pulisic might be out because you can't really leave Raheem Sterling out. Chile might go as a wing, whatever, wing back or whatever. Chaloba might be in the, f in the back three if the manager decides to go for, uh, you know, strong build from, from the back. I don't know. Anything can happen, my friend. I'm just throwing some names out there. So don't get on me and say, oh, did you say so? And say, yes, sir. We don't know. Probably Kai Havert. Why not? He scored the last time. Probably the manager might say, you know what? You start for me. Who knows? Probably the young Armando Broja to lead the line. We don't know who's going to start there. Ngolo Kante people are going to complain. 
He's from an injury. I will give him a few minutes in the second half. Kano Gallagher also deserves to start somewhere else. So as you can tell, the so-called dead wood that we wanted to sell, all of them needed to be sold under the other regime. Now all of them are providing something. I'm not saying they are world class or they are Chelsea level, but at least we are getting something out of them. After the preseason, after a few bad games, everybody wanted to sell Conor Gallagher. Look at him today. Playing in his natural position, playing more, have more freedom. Look at him today. Christian Pulisic, the same. Manson Mount, the same. Attackers are cooking at the moment. They are smiling. They are enjoying playing football. If you don't enjoy your job, my friend, you're not going to do anything. If somebody is imposing you to do what you don't want to do, you're not going to give 100%. So, uh, no more dead wood. Everybody that will come off that bench, I'm, I am sure that he's going to get the job done. Jorginho is going to get the job done. Hakim Ziyech, say whatever you want, but he, he's going to silence all those critics and all the theories and narratives. When he scored those golasos, when he's given like the freedom to cook in a free role here, the narrative is going to change. Look at Pulisic. Only one goal, the narrative started changing. So, that, uh, that the way we are as fans. So, 2-1 Chelsea Football Club. Let me know your score prediction, your starting 11, and all the good stuff.